hey guys and um, welcome to another testing video where we test react components using the react testing library in today's video we're going to take a look at how we can test react components props the props being passed to react components um, in it, so we have a simple component here which is a button that renders the HTML button and takes in the props where we have a content where the content is just going to be shown inside what the button what what should be shown inside the button the text that should be shown so this is what we want to test the props being passed to uh, components so i have my simple test file here i've already gone ahead and written a, the, the first test and rendered the button which yeah, uh, obviously you have to do for every single test. All right, so this, so what we, we want to test exactly. So what we should, what we want to test is what should show when, uh, what exactly must be shown inside the button based on whatever we pass to the component. All right, so right now we have a content and let's say for example, we want to pass in hello world so i expect that hello world should show in the button so i'm going to do a very specific test so i'm going to do this expect so screen which we i'm using the screen as like what a user so get by rule so using the get by rule so we are using the get by rule simply because the rule has what a more specific uh, use case what test that we are we are we are doing so we are going to expect that what a button exists in the page and the button has what uh, 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 or its child should you have what hello world right. so we know that a button should be in what the page and it should have the text of what hello world so to be in the document so so we expect this particular use case to uh, succeed or should pass right so let's see how what the test says and it passes beautiful so we know that whatever we pass as the content to the component it will be shown in the page so this is one way of going about it using the get by rule we can also use get by text so using get by text let's get rid of this so we can also use uh, sorry text shouldn't do that All right so get by text so this will also ensure that there is a particular text that exists in what the page or in the components right so both of these two test cases will ensure that the whatever that we are show we are showing is valid so in case where somebody may have passed in the text whatever text uh, they are passing to the component which in this case it will pass the second case will ensure that it's an actual button that is being shown to what the page that has that particular word text so this so this won't get some way to cheese the system to be passing in some weird text which is showing inside the dev no so these two cases enforces the uh, button to actually be shown on the page so this is very one of the simple uh, props that we can test. Another test case that we can take a look at is functions. How can we test functions uh, using the React testing library? So let's say we have a function of onClick. So onClick uh, should be a function that doesn't do anything. Right? So we don't expect the onClick to be doing anything right so obviously so if you have an on click we are just going to assign the on click event to 
the buttons native on click uh, event event handler right so let's save that and as you can see uh, on our right hand side the button or the when render the component is asking as we need to provide the on click function because it's required over here by TypeScript. So TypeScript uh, any property that I add to an object is required by default unless you bring in this. So a question mark is stating that it's not required or you see here we can make it undefined. So if you do it this way uh, with the pipe undefined it actually specifies that this property must exist but it can be a function or undefined but if you don't want it to exist at all you simply just use the uh, question mark right so this will make sure that the property can exist or it can exist right? so that's that's by the way so let's bring in our on click function uh, on click and it's just a dumb function not doing anything so in this test case I don't want to bring in the test of testing the on click event right I want to separate out the test into in small small sections so we are going to create another test simply to test the on click event so we should call uh, the on click when button is clicked a very simple test case right so we are going to render the button but in this case i'm going to pass in a, a mock function from just so i'm going to create a simple so mock on click function so from just fn so just dot fn will create a mock function in which we can use that to do various what accessions on it so we are going to take that and pass that into the on click prop so all right so we have that right so we render that let's run the test again and let's see what happens all right fine so it passes but we haven't done any assertions on the second uh, test but it's passing by default that's how just works so if you don't write any assertions it the test will just pass by default okay so now what we want to do is we expect that when, whenever we click this button this function the mock on click function should be called and how are we going to actually perform that test how are we going to click the button we can click it uh, manually as we've been clicking everywhere but what we can do is we can use the uh, the testing library user event the user event library in order to test uh, some of these words cases where you can click or type those kind of things so let's bring in the user event uh, library right so this is another uh, testing library that is provided by react test uh, the uh, react testing library to help with some of these events that the user can perform uh, in the browser or simulative uh, uh, actions that the user can perform so let's have so we have a user event and we want to uh, click on the button so we need to get that button we need to find a way to get that button and then click on it so that's why we obviously use this specific case here so using the get by row we get a button then we expect that the button should be hello world because the content over here is hello world so we click on that button then we can accept, accept that the mock on call function 
actually is being called so to be called so let's save that and let's see what happens it passes right so this is so this pass this is passing because we are actually clicking on the button and the function is actually being called if we do not click on the button obviously a function will be called and the assertion would what fail so let's see that uh, it, it feels beautifully because we are not clicking the button and the function is not being called which should happen which that's what we expect right so so that's it so these are the few ways we can test props in react how we can test props in react using the react testing library obviously there are other more cases that we are going to delve into in future videos but that's all for now and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks